So when I originally conceived of this project, I was actually thinking that I was going to show you how to make solid sculptures. Now this figure, this little person here is, uh, as you can see, it's thin enough that it doesn't, it isn't a risk for blowing up. It's solid built. This one too, um, this little, this little hand is, uh, the thickest it gets is, you know, a little bit thicker than my, my thumb. Um, but it's, uh, that's the only section, right? And everywhere else is fairly thin. So this is able to be fired. Now, I know you might not all be firing your work, um, but I still want to show you, um, you might all, not all be firing your work, so it doesn't necessarily for this project have to be real thin. Um, and I decided actually to make this project a little looser. Um, so instead of having it be... Um, that you have to make figures or, you know, hands and, and body parts and stuff like that. I decided to make it a little bit looser, but I still want to have an opportunity to show you how I might, how you might go about, about building solid pieces. So I wanted to show you some people. I'm also going to do a little installation in, in my house. I've got plenty of pictures of installations that are outside, but it's been raining um, this weekend and this week, and it's uh, it's kind of cold outside. And so I thought I'd show you some examples um, of pieces that were, um, you know, done inside. So I was going to do an installation just in my in my house here. So um, I'm just making this figure kind of quickly, right? Because the clay is wet, I'm able to pretty quickly shape it into, um, you know, body parts, squish it together without needing to score and slip. Now, if you make your body parts or, or whatever it is you're making separately and let them dry and you're putting, to, putting them together leather hard, then you do need to score and slip. But I'm skipping the scoring and slipping because of how I'm putting it together. Lots of people like to work solid in, in the, when we're in the classroom, I have people work solid and then we hollow out our figures. That's a hard one to do at home. It takes, it really takes some, um, some support from me and an armature and inside support to hold things together. So um, that's why we're, we're changing the project this quarter to do these smaller figures and in installation. Um, that and this, I think this installation is a fun way to get you uh, working with your art, possibly in public, or at least in the public parts of your house if you live with other people. Uh, but also just kind of getting, uh, the, the neat thing about some of those installations is they're not all done with fired clay. So if you're skipping the firing, um, those works are more similar to what you're doing. Um, cause this, this class, we're not we don't have as much focus on the firing. So as I've been talking with you, I've been shaping this figure, and um, you can see I kind of bent the uh, bent the feet and bent the um, knees and stuff like that. Now I'm gonna, you know, I can come back and clean these up with some tools, but I can do a lot of the shaping with my fingers, and so I, that's where I'm where I'm kind of starting here. Now I'm, I'm gonna have to get in with some sort of tool and do the hands. Um, I mean, sorry, do the fingers, um, but I can get the, the body, or I'm sorry, the basic shape of the hand uh, in pretty good shape to begin with. Um, my head just kind of squished into place, so I may need to add a little bit of clay um, to get a jawline so this person doesn't have sort of a strange shaped head. <laughs> um, and, uh, and I'm doing this while kind of trying to make sure I keep mostly the view in the camera. Um, so, you know, one of the things that's sometimes a little tricky here is um, I would probably set this down, maybe hold it rather than holding it on, you know, in space like this, I might hold it on my lap or on the table, um, but it's just a little easier for you to see when I've got it up here. So I'm going to make this figure this way, and uh, I actually am going to not totally finish the pose real carefully. Um, for two reasons. One is um, I want to be able to bend this in situ. I want to put this into the installation when it's wet. And so I want to be able to move the limbs a little bit if I choose to. Um, and then the other reason is if I'm going to, one of the neat things you see, well, I, th I think it's fun for the purposes of our class, is that if you look at the work that folks um, so some of the installation work, because it's about multiples and it's about a group of these things, um, having the individuals not quite as carefully finished, I think you can sometimes get away with that when it's, when it's one piece by itself. I think there's less room for that. 
All right, so I'm gonna sit this guy down here, give him a little seat there. Um, and now I'm gonna make a couple more off camera, and then I'm gonna show you some of the cleanup um, with tools so you can see how, they, um, how I might add some details.